Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing my thoughts on the Ulla Enriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. Ulla Enriksen very kindly sent this over I believe in January so this is not a sponsored video. If you are new here, my name is Nadia and I am a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you do not miss any future uploads. So Ulla Enriksen describes this as a daily moisturizer that is packed with eight peptides, eight amino acids, three ceramides, and collagen to instantly double hydration, boost elasticity, and improve the look of fine lines and wrinkles while strengthening your skin's protective barrier. You can find Ulla Enriksen's Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer at ulaenriksen.com and Sephora and Kohl's. This moisturizer retails for $48. Ula Enriksen suggests that you apply an even layer over the face and the neck morning and evening. For plumper, bouncier skin, you may pair this with the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. I filmed a review on Banana Bright months ago. I will link that video up above in case you would like to revisit, perhaps check what's going on uh, with that particular serum if you want to pair it with this new launch. This has a very unique texture. This balm to gel texture is loaded with antioxidants, hydrators, and anti-aging ingredients that help to bring moisture to your skin, leaving it plump and stronger. Within this formula, we see niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, amino acids, vitamins, peptides, and ceramides, just to name a few. The peptides within this formula help to strengthen and condition your skin. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. When applied topically, amino acids help to hydrate and support your skin's elasticity. Ceramides strengthen the skin as they bind and retain moisture. To further hydrate the skin, we see hyaluronic acid and collagen, both of which are already present in your body. Hyaluronic acid, as we know, helps to bind moisture to the skin. It plumps it. Collagen here also hydrates and boosts your skin's elasticity, so it keeps it bouncy. There are a lot of really good skin strengthening and hydrating ingredients here. My only gripe here is the addition of limonene, linalool and citral. They can be sensitizing on some and they add the barely there fragrance we can barely smell. The smell here is literally barely there. Did I mention it's barely there? I'd almost rather it not be present, but I know some of you, myself sometimes included, um, do enjoy a sensorial experience when performing, you know, a skincare routine, especially after a long, stressful day. I'd love to know if you prefer skincare to be fragrance-free or if you like more of a sensorial experience. Do you love a scent? If so, how much? How much is too much? Comment down below. There are a lot of really good ingredients within this formula. The texture is unlike anything I've felt before, or at least that I can remember, as this balm literally transforms into a gel as you warm it up on the palms of your hands or as you apply it over the face and neck. A similar texture um, to this would probably be this little guy by Peter Thomas Roth, the Vital E Microbiome Age Defense Cream, which is almost empty, but it has more of like a, a creamy texture to it. Apply it here. This is definitely a richer moisturizer than the Ulla Enriksen moisturizer. 
and it does have some smoothing properties. Feels really nice actually, I haven't used this in a while. But this one is definitely creamier and you can like feel it on the skin almost. I began incorporating Ula's Strength Trainer into my routine on January 16th. I made a note of the unique texture and I found it to be less sticky than the Pharmacy Niacinamide Mask. Now, that one is not sticky, but it was just something that I had recently put to the test, so it was kind of like my reference point. It does have a very light, scent and my first impression was that I saw or felt that oily skin would actually really enjoy this. On January 23rd I noted that it did not affect the performance or wear time of my makeup. I also wrote down that perhaps drier skin types um, may desire something that is a little bit more nourishing, perhaps a little heavier. On January 28th, I noted that I had not irritated or broken me out. I did not notice any additional congestion, even as I used this both morning and evening. Once I had made this the only finishing product in my nighttime skincare routine, I noticed that once I rinsed the product off. This didn't give my skin a glow in the way that the Pharmacy 10% Niacinamide Mask did. If you do use this during the day, it'll give you a glow, as you saw in my demo here, but the glow just washes off once the product comes off, unfortunately. I did note that although this worked very nicely or nicely on my normal skin, during California winter, I'd definitely prefer reaching for this more during spring and summer. And that's not necessarily a negative thing, it's just a preference. I know uh, many who change their skincare routines based on the season. Richer creams in drier months, water gel, or gel-based moisturizers during warmer months. And this is definitely more of a gel to me. I have used a product like this with similar claims such as Murad's Nutrient Charged Water Gel, which contains five minerals, five vitamins, and five peptides uh, with more of a gel type of consistency, which does also include fragrance. There are a few differences between the two. However, Murad's Nutrient Charged Water Gel has been a staple in my skincare routine as I feel like it really does help to plump and hydrate my skin. Ula Enriksen's newest contains more peptides and it also has a unique texture. While I enjoy this moisturizer on the face and neck, I feel like I enjoy it more on my neck. I can't say the same for all of the moisturizers I've tried. I feel like it just feels so delicious on the neck. I'm not sure if you've tried this. Let me know if you feel the same way. As far as both moisturizers go, Nutrient Charged or Strength Trainer, I'm not sure if I have like a preference. Like which one do I like more over the other? I feel like Nutrient Charged Water Gel does work best year round on my skin, whereas this I do feel like will work better during spring and summer for me. Overall, uh, with use, my skin has felt hydrated, it looks plumper, and the radiance is there when the product sits over the skin. This plays very well with the number of serums applied underneath. Um, I have used this under two different mineral sunscreens and I did not experience any pilling at all. Um, this again did not affect the performance of my skin tints. 
or actual foundations. I hadn't used a daytime moisturizer as recently I have just wanted to use my SPF as my moisturizer slash makeup primer to again minimize congestion and also shorten my daytime routine. But it was truly a pleasure to use this during my morning routine. I did not notice any additional congestion over my t-zone despite using this morning and evening. This paired very well under an oil. I did go in a couple times with the six golden nourishing face oil here. My favorite way to use this uh, was in the evening. I loved double cleansing and toning with my Murad hydrating toner. I would apply one pump and a half of the Peter Thomas Roth Even Smoother Glycolic Retinol Resurfacing Serum. Uh, seen here. I will link my review on this serum up above in case you missed it. And then I would go in and apply the Ulla Enriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer to the face and neck in an upward motion. I will say that despite this transforming into a gel, from a balm, once it hits the skin, it has a really nice slip to it that allows you to massage this over the skin in an upward motion for well over a minute. This is especially good for you if you are concerned with the signs of aging and of course, gravity. So I loved just massaging this in an upward motion, um, starting here at the neck, then the face, and then here the forehead area. For added antioxidant support, sometimes I would go in with this oil. Mostly I would just tap this into the cheeks uh, because that's where I feel like I feel the driest. Um, I don't feel it dry here along my T-zone at all, just here, um, especially right now that I was doing this test and it's also kind of chilly out. If you are sensitive to limonene, linalool, and citral, definitely stay away. And if you have sensitive skin, please perform a patch test. I would recommend Strength Trainer to anyone with combo, normal, oily skin who is also concerned with the signs of aging loss of firmness and elasticity. Pros here, I do like the unique texture and the price point. Murad's Nutrient Charged Water Gel does retail for $63 and Drunk Elephant, which also contains peptides. Um, here we have with a Drunk Elephant formula, we do have one additional peptide minus the fragrance and the texture here is definitely a lot different whereas Proteiny feels more like a moisturizer like a creamy moisturizer with a lightweight feel um, but Nutrient Charged and Strength Trainer does have more of a gel type feel. Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide retails for 68 and this retails for 48 so it's a $20 difference here. Um, I do like how quickly this was absorbed by the skin. It didn't feel like it just sat over the skin so it was absorbed by the skin and it gave the skin a very nice glow. Um, I liked this over the face and neck, but mostly over the neck. And I do like that it's lightly scented. It is not an overwhelming scent at all. This is vegan and cruelty free and this does not contain any drying alcohols. I do have a couple of cons here, um, those of which are the uh, potentially sensitizing fragrance ingredients. While testing this, I did feel like some nights I needed extra moisture. Due in part to the other tests I was running, so I would reach for this oil to further comfort my normal skin. So if you have oily skin, I feel like your skin will probably feel very comfortable with this product as the final step in your skincare routine. I am going to be rating this an 8.5 out of 10. I am deducting a half point for the sensitizing fragrance ingredients. Again, the scent is very, very light. 
almost citrusy and kind of uplifting. And I'm also deducting a point because on some evenings, like mentioned, I felt like I needed an oil or something a little bit more moisturizing, which is why I think that this will work best on oily skin. That is all I have for you all today. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you have yet to subscribe. And make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever there is a brand new upload. Let me know if you've tried this or if you will be adding this to cart in the comments down below. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. You can find Ula's drink strainer. You know, it's... It's not Friday. I'm not filming on a Friday, so I'm not like happy it's Friday. It's I'm filming on a Monday today, so if I feel a little down in this video, it's because it's a Monday. <laughs>